Diamonds are forever. Hi everyone, I'm Pete Kelly from AFC RDTV and welcome to highlights of AFC Richardson Diamonds against Northampton Salby Rangers from UCL Premier Division on Tuesday evening. This was Diamonds' first game in UCL Premier Division at home. A crowd of over 500 were there to see the Diamonds extend their rivalry with Salby. And it was Diamonds onto the attack just a few seconds in. Alfie Taylor having his shot saved well by Salby stopper Liam Stanton. And Diamonds had numerous chances in the opening few minutes. First Taylor and then Russ Dunkley. And he headed just over. But a little bit later on, Diamonds won a penalty. Not too many people in the ground would agree with the referee when he thought that Alfie Taylor's shirt was tugged. But with the help of linesman, referee Mr O'Sullivan gave it. Only for Fazel Karaya to hit his penalty high and wide. Salby struggled to get into any real rhythm, having lost virtually all their players from last season. And eventually it was almost inevitable that Diamonds would take the lead. Good link-up play between Karaya and Dunkley, leading to Diamonds going 1-0 up on 16 minutes. And it was, at that stage, a thoroughly deserved lead. And Diamonds continued to push. Here's Sean McBride making the defence get into an awful tangle. And the inevitable conclusion was Diamonds second penalty. To his credit, Karaya stood up again. And this time swept away the penalty quite confidently. 22nd minute there. That's the Russian Diamonds 2. So I'll be nil. And still the chances kept coming for the Diamonds there. Sam Brown with his latest effort. I think that one going just over the crossbar. And other defenders were getting in on the shooting act too. There, Gillingwater forcing another save from Salby goalkeeper. But Diamonds weren't able to do anything from the rebound. And still the chances would come. There, another big appeal for a handball after defender Jamal Clark had managed to get onto a ball forward. And then to close the half, Karai couldn't quite get onto a good flicked on chance from Dunkley, or at least couldn't quite get his shot on target. So at half time, FC Russian and Diamonds 2, Salby 0. It was a big change in Salby's personnel, and a very, very young team struggled to stay with Diamonds in the second period there. A lovely chipped goal from Karaya for his second of the night. That goal coming in the 55th minute. And after Dunkley had had that opportunity saved by Stanton, later on it was Dunkley again, whose flick was met spectacularly with an overhead kick from Karaya to complete his hat-trick. That goal coming in the 58th minute. To their credit, the young Sarby side continued to work hard and they came forward here. That was Sam Watkins getting onto a good ball forward. Although the Northampton base club couldn't quite do anything after Diamonds had struggled to clear their lines. Bryant continued to be a menace all evening long. There his link-up play into Matt Gearing, where the Diamonds wide man couldn't get his shot on target. But the chances did come for the Diamonds, although none were taken. And as such, full-time was AFC Russian and Diamonds 4, Northampton Salvi Rangers 0. Karaya would be voted man of the match by match sponsors Pool Solutions. And at the end of this one, Diamonds sit very proudly in the number one position in the UCL Premier Division. So here we are again on AFC RD TV, another season, and uh, the result tonight, the home season opener at the Dog and Duck. It finishes AFC Russian and Diamonds 4, Northampton Sylvie Rangers 0. And with us now, assistant manager Andy Peaks. Uh, great game tonight, Andy. That scoreline really sounds good, doesn't it? 4 0. Yeah, I'm happy with four. Would like six or seven, to be honest. But now I'm, I'd have took four before we started. It just seemed like Diamonds were in control from start to finish tonight. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I thought we started with a great tempo, exactly what we wanted to do. Carry on from where we left off Saturday. And they did that, yeah. So, we, yeah, great from the start. 
Uh, we could have been up as much as 3-0 within maybe three or four minutes of the match. Yeah, I think it could have been three or four before we actually scored. So, yeah, we created plenty of chances. And the captain of the squad, Russ Dunkley, uh, gets a goal in the 16th minute. And uh, the floodgates sort of opened after that, didn't they? They did a little bit, yeah. I mean, I thought the first goal was always going to be important because they're only a young side. Uh, I knew it would affect them. But, yeah, with the first one, when it came, Russ is happy to tap it in. He's due a goal. He's happy to get one, so happy with that. You have to give uh, credit then, of course, to number 11, Faisal Korea. He misses the penalty shot, but then he comes right back and calmly steps up and neatly puts the ball into the net on the second attempt and goes on to have a hat trick for the match. Yeah, no, he was a constant threat all night, and he, he's had three goals. He probably could have had five or six, but I'd have took three. But, yeah, he's an absolute handful, really. Great understanding with Russell. Now, uh, Northampton still be uh, sort of a completely different team from last season, so... Um Give them credit, though. They hung in there as best they could, but uh, it's almost like playing a youth team tonight. Yeah, they've got a lot of young lads. They've got a lot of rebuilding going on at the club. Uh, but, yeah, they stuck to it, to be fair. They kept passing the ball, and they never gave up. So, yeah, full credit to them. And, of course, uh, still very early in the season, but you have to be happy about the, the chemistry of the team and the diamond so far, a good mixture of old and new. Yeah, we've got a couple of additions, which we knew would be beneficial to the club. And so far, so good. Started well. Is Parky uh, working well as one of your... Assistant coaches? Yeah, Park is great. He's good to have in the change room. He's got a massive knowledge and he's got a lot of respect from the boys, so he's good to have alongside. All right, well, uh, Storms will be back uh, by the weekend, right, for that historic first FA Cup match against uh, London Colney. What are your early thoughts about that game? Now, we've had them watched. We've got some information on them, so we'll take that, pass it on to the boys um, and then see how we go Saturday. But, yeah, it's another game we're looking to win. Obviously, a massive competition, massive game. We've got to take into a form we've had this week into that. And finally, a nice crowd on end for the op home season opener. Uh, fortunately, not a Saturday, but for a weekday evening, uh, 521 in attendance at the Dog and Duck. Not bad. No, fantastic crowd tonight. Yeah, really good. I think a lot of the people have enjoyed it. Hopefully, they'll come back again. All right, thanks for your time, Pixie. Cheers. You're welcome. Thank Cheers. you, everyone. Here I am with uh, Man of the Match, Faisal Career. Faisal, congratulations. Thank you very much. Uh, good game for you. Hat trick and an assist. Yes, we're pleased with that. But it didn't start off like that, did it? <laughs> Less said about that, the better, I think. Yeah. I mean, did you see someone in the back of the stand you didn't like? <laughs> I don't know what happened with that. I just want to forget about that, to be honest with you. But then you stepped up again and uh, took the uh, second one that came. Was there ever any doubt in your mind that you weren't going to take that? Um, I think Matty Gearing wanted it, but I think I wanted to make amends. I think I was less nervous for the second one than the first one, so couldn't miss two, could I? No. Would you have been any less nervous down the other end, do you think? Perhaps so, yeah, perhaps. OK, um, and then cracking other couple of goals, a little lob and then overhead kick. You must have enjoyed those. Yeah, as I said, pleased today um, to get score three. As for us to win as well was good. I enjoyed playing up top alongside Dunk, so it was, yeah, enjoyed it. And uh, to an assist as well, did you ever think you were going to shoot for that one? Uh, no, Dunks was in a better position and obviously I just missed the penalty I think at that point so I think the easier option was just to square it to Dunks to tap it in. So, And he's a bit bigger than you, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, he is. So you're a new player to the Diamonds this season, how are you uh, settling in at the club? Yeah, enjoying it, really, really pleased, everyone's been really welcoming and the lads are great as well, so PC, um, Stams, the management staff have been brilliant. So. And uh, can you tell us where you've been before you uh, rolled up to the Dog and Duck? Uh, yes, yeah, so I was at Rugby Town last year, and then previous to that, I think Long Butby the season before, but I've played for Leamington, um, Evesham as well, uh, Bedworth, so well-travelled, I think. So. Are the UCL Prems no uh, stranger to you then, having been at Long Butby? No, not at all. We won it that year, so yeah, in enjoy playing at this level. So. Are you hoping for the same again this year, or is it a bit too early to think about that? It is early, but good start. Six out of six points. So, onwards and upwards, I think so. And then next week we go to uh, London Colney in the FA Cup. But uh, you're not going to be around for that, is that right? No, I'm away. I'm away now for about three and a half, nearly four weeks. So, I wish the boys well, and I'm sure they will do, will do well. Hopefully they'll still be in the competition when I'm back. So, yeah, Lovely. And if they are, you might struggle to get your place back. <laughs> I think I might, yeah. Especially after that penalty, so... Uh, well, we've enjoyed seeing you through pre-season in the first couple of games. Congratulations on your goal last uh, Saturday as well. And I'm sure we'll speak to you many times again in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.